Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Ambassador. A, a very timely hearing, and uh, Ambassador, thank you for your presence here today. These, these topics, as you know, and as you are articulating, are, are very important, and uh, engagement on these trade issues is, is, is vital. Let me begin by thanking the President for bringing down the 232 steel and aluminum tariffs on Canada and Mexico on, on May the 17th. I certainly uh, advocated for that course of action, I'm, and I'm grateful that the USTR is making that a reality. In lifting of the 232 tariffs and the decision to avoid new tariffs on Mexico have led to substantial progress in moving the USMCA agreement forward, both in Mexico and Canada. We cannot lose sight of how important our North American trade relationships are and how crucial their continuation is to the well-being and economic survival of farmers, ranchers, and rural communities, and well, let's not forget consumers as well. No comprehensive trade agreement is ever going to be perfect in the eyes of everyone. However, USMCA is a needed modernization of NAFTA, as you have stated. I strongly encourage the ratification in a timely fashion because we know the costs of delay are very significant. Markets lost are not easily regained. Farmers and ranchers need markets. Uh, the President recognizes the current sacrifices made by our nation's ag, ag producers. I cannot emphasize enough to you uh, just how real the pain is in, in parts of our economy, and I, I know you realize that. We all understand China is a bad economic actor on many fronts. I'm, ple I'm pleased the President plans to meet with Chinese President Xi next week. Engaging with China is certainly a step in the right direction. Thank you for also engaging with Japan on how best to reach a successful trade agreement. And even while those talks continue, Nebraska's livestock producers face declining market share due to competition from nations which have preferential trading terms already with the Japanese. We need to level that playing field. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, the current struggles of our ag producers are very real. We must work toward timely, principled, productive solutions and work toward sustainable and robust markets. Uh, thank you again for addressing the committee. I was wondering if you could uh, reflect a bit on the current prog progress of, of talks with Japan. Well, thank you, Congressman. I, uh, as you say, first of all, I, I, I make the point that I make here with all the issues in agriculture, and there are substantial ones, most of which predated this administration, but, but you know, that we're trying to deal with, as you know, as farm income has just been a problem for a number of years, and, it's, and, it's, and, then, and then you dump on top of it, you know, a million tons of rain, and all of a sudden you have, you go from a really bad situation to a crisis. The president is very concerned about this. It's something that I literally never have a meeting when he doesn't bring it up, and I meet with him a lot, so it's on his mind an awful lot. The, the Japan thing specifically that you mentioned, I would say this. Japan has been a pretty good market for the United States in a number of products. It should be much better. They still have a, a, a state-organized uh, agricultural sector, and they also have um, fairly high tariffs, but we have a fair amount of access, particularly like in, uh, in beef and some other areas. We're in a position now, some members may not know, I know you do, that because they entered into TPP and a separate agreement with Europe, we're going to be in a position where we're treated worse than our competitors. Our competitors will be all of our competitors in Europe, of which there are substantial, but also Mexico, Canada, and New Zealand. So it's a big, big problem, and it's one that we have to take care of in a very swift manner. So that the president has instructed me to get on this. I've had a number of meetings. I expect to have another meeting with my Japanese counterpart on the outskirts of the G20 next week. Uh, I had a meeting with him here in town last week. So this is, and our staffs have met more or less continuously. We understand the nature of this problem and we have to resolve it because if we don't, these farmers are gonna lose that market because of nothing they did, just because Japan gave more access to somebody else and they may never get those markets back. And the Japanese understand completely our position, and I'm, I'm hopeful that we'll have something resolved in, in, the, uh, uh, in the weeks and months ahead. But there's an enormous amount of urgency, and we completely agree with your assessment. Well, thank you. And, and certainly, uh, as you look at 40-plus uh, percent tariff on some U.S. beef heading uh, to Japan to reduce that, uh, obviously is good for our producers here, but uh, it, it, it's great for uh, Japanese consumers uh, as well. If, if all countries would just uh, uh, keep consumers in mind, I think we would be in a better place, and I, and I know that that is uh, what you are working toward, and, and I thank you for your time today. I yield back.